we are going to be reviewing the Ideal Conceal 9mm Derringer today. I was surprised the box was a lot smaller than I expected. It was less than an inch thick, and you can see this pistol is about the size of a cell phone. It comfortably fits in the palm. I was also surprised at how heavy and sturdy it felt, which I appreciated, but it, it, uh, it's, it's got to be like a pretty solid block of steel just to handle the 9mm explosion without coming apart. Um, so you can see the mechanism for opening it is kind of like a pocket knife. There's no secret button to open it. You just pull and it opens and then it locks until you release it and it can close back. The action release is a low profile slide which you have to push down It's spring loaded. Same thing with the bullet ejector right there is it has a little spring mechanism so it stays out of the way of the bullets until you push it in to get the bullets out. I love how sleek and size efficient this gun is. When you're firing the pistol you need to make sure your thumb is not touching the ejector pin or else it's gonna hurt. So we're gonna look inside the barrels. You can see there is some clockwise rifling and they made it really clean and crisp and identical between the two barrels which I appreciate it. It's uh, hard enough using a, a tiny pocket pistol and with the barrels being offset by a distance to keep it as accurate as possible. So I appreciate the good quality rifling they did there. The sights are low profile which I didn't mind. They got creative and used the release as the back half of the alignment and then they put in a little dip on the front um, i found it sufficient to aim for putting the nine millimeter bullets in they gave you just a little bit of wiggle room so that the bullet can expand when it's fired um, as you can see here the ejector pin if it just slides out it's already spring loaded so that it does not interfere with the bullets but when you push it against the bullets you can go against that spring and get the bullet out easily it's as we'll see later a little bit more difficult after the bullets expanded depending on the expansion sometimes the expansion is not quite enough to fill the chamber completely and so then the bullet comes out easier if it's if it's over expanded a little bit then it can be a little bit more of a challenge so this is my first two shots on the range right after opening it you can see they both hit red and they're three or four inches apart one on top one on bottom and that corresponded with the barrels they made the trigger space large enough to fit a standard trigger lock which i appreciated you can see the serial numbers embedded most of the constructed screws are hex screws and there's some air space in the action there so these are the firing pins it just rotates between the top and the bottom like little diabetes needles and the trigger pull on this is i measured between 15 and 20 pounds which sounds insane and ridiculous and it, it kind of is but also that that's that's about what the pole needs to be on loading any gun back you just did it before you were actually shooting the gun and what i appreciate about that on the ideal conceal that it, you don't need to pre-rack the gun or pre-pull back the, the hammer is that there's no preparation for this gun it's ready to pull out open and fire which is what I would want on an ideal conceal weapon for myself I don't want to have to pull it out and do a lot of preparation work and pull things back and set things up but that's uh, that's not ideal for me I want to be able to pull it out and shoot and and that's exactly what they made here it's also a safety feature um, if my four-year-old gets a hold of this while I'm asleep and he pulls it out of my pocket he's not gonna be able to trigger pull 20 pounds it's, it's, it was uh, kind of hard after a few shots for me to pull off. Um, but in the beginning, the first few shots were comfortable enough. I was able to pull the 15 to 20 pounds without letting it move the gun around or shake it for me. You can see here it was a little bit more difficult to get that bottom case out because it had expanded a little bit more on the firing. You can see after a few shots, it's got a little bit of whitening on the tip. We'll see if that comes off later. Now on firing, this gun does have a little bit of a bite. There's not a lot of weight in the gun, so your hand has to take the brunt of the fire. And then we're trying to eject 
these out. You can see once they've expanded, it's just a little bit more difficult, but that's not surprising. So they came out. There's the one, and then the other. And they designed the action release and the bullet ejector so that even when both of them are extended, if you try to close the action, it will close. And you can see the profile when you put it in your pocket is just like a cell phone because it's the same height, width, and depth as a standard iPhone. So overall, in terms of size, safety, ergonomics, quality, concealability, accuracy, and cool factor overall, it is ideal. It's my new favorite gun.